What's up guys? My name is Brady Heemstra and today I'm here to tell you how you can pass your advanced drone operations review in Canada. Right now this video is going to be primarily about the actual drone review in person, not the written exam online. The reason for this is because on the online exam, you can always just Google the answers and it's not too hard to pass. First things first, we're gonna go over the material that you need. And then the second, we're gonna go in depth a little more and talk about the checklists that you should provide, maps you should bring, and other stuff that might assist you. So first things first, I brought a compass to my review personally. This is really important for the safety and emergency operations such as vertical or horizontal flyaways. In a horizontal flyaway, you're gonna need to know which direction the drone is flying to tell the nearest air traffic control station. So it's very important that you always have one on hand on your persons at all times. The second uh, thing I always bring with me is a high vis vest. This isn't necessary, but it shows that you value safety and the flight reviewer will certainly take note of that. And the third thing, and this is the thing you should live and die by and make sure you do not forget in your flight review, and that is your flight operations binder. Now, things that should be contained in this binder are your pilot certificate, registration number with your drone, your aeronautical charts, checklists, and anything else that might assist you or impress the reviewer. So before my exam, I went on Transport Canada's site and I used their drone operations map. I'll leave a link provided in the description below. Essentially what I did is I printed out um, the operation area of where I was flying my drone. I also measured the distance from the operation area to the nearest aerodrome. I also have right here a flight review prep checklist. So essentially some things you'll need to bring to your review to make sure that you actually get a review to begin with. Things like identification, a driver's license will do, uh, proof that you've written and completed the advanced written exam online, uh, proof of recency, so any flight logs that you might have done within the past year, um, proof of the flight review prep course that you did, a certificate of registration, your basic pilot certificate, you need to bring a site survey checklist, uh, your normal procedures, and your emergency procedures. Make sure also you fully charge your drone and remote before conducting this review. You should also bring the manual to your drone. It is legal to operate your drone without your manual on hand at all times, so you definitely need to bring it to the room. <laughs> Something that will help you tremendously with the emergency procedures is this NAV Canada chart here. I'll leave another link in the description below. So depending on what FIC zone you're operating in, there will be a different emergency number for each zone. So for instance, for my review, I was in the Kamloops zone, so I had to call the Kamloops FIC. Another thing I have, which isn't essential, but really helps, is a chart which converts Zulu to local time. So in any case of an emergency, air traffic controllers go through Zulu time, which is essentially an international standard for time. You need to learn to convert um, your 12 hour clock to a 24 hour, and then depending on what time zone you're in, you might subtract or add a few hours to get to Zulu time. And this is what really impresses flight reviewers, the bread and butter, if I will. Aeronautical charts. These are very important for some emergency operations too, especially notably the vertical flyaway. In case of a vertical flyaway, you must always know if you're conducting operations under a commercial airline traffic route. Having these aeronautical charts and knowing where you're conducting the operations and if you're under one is incredibly important. The good news is you can get these aeronautical charts for free. So there's an amazing site called Sky Vector. I'll provide a link in the description below. Essentially, you can go anywhere in North America on this site and you can find all the aeronautical charts you need. Just screenshot them, print them out, and bring them to your review. It will save you so much time. So I also keep the whole aeronautical manual in my binder as well. This just helps, this just makes it easy for you to remember all the rules and regulations you must abide by when you're flying a drone in Canada. Things like airspace 
airspace charts will be good too to have, just so you know what airspace you're conducting your operations in, and uh, your flight reviewer will definitely ask you that question. So for your checklists, I highly recommend that you make your own. I'll provide my own that I use for my review in the description below, but make sure you adjust it for your own purposes and um, bring it to the review and make sure it's easy to go over before you conduct your operation. Make sure you check off every single thing uh, with your reviewer before you conduct your actual drone operation. And essentially that's pretty much everything you need to know for your review. Um, I will provide as much sources and links as I can in the description below. Make sure you print out everything and put it in a binder. Your flight reviewer will be thoroughly impressed if you can memorize most of it. And make sure it's organized and it's conducted well. Some tips and pointers I might add also from uh, my personal experience with the flight review is the reviewer might ask you to fly around certain obstacles or even conduct emergency procedures uh, yourself. Uh, in my case, my battery life for my Mavic Air was not any more than like 20 minutes long, so I really just had to recite the emergency procedures from a checklist. In any case, do be prepared for any of these emergency procedures. I hope you do well. Take it easy, always take deep breaths. If you don't understand what the reviewer is saying, be sure to just ask them again. They'll be sure to, to reword the phrase for you. Good luck on your review, and I hope this was very helpful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.